What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It is Sakyafalos here and today we're going to be continuing our playthrough of Rune King. So as usual, if you guys are going to enjoy it, consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Really do appreciate your support here, but mainly it's so that you don't miss future episodes or uploads of single player content just like this one here on my channel. So thank you so, so much for doing so, or if you've already done it. And with that being said, let's get this episode started. Now here we are in the game. Um, we are currently in, I believe, Thresh's dungeon. More specifically, we are in his chambers and uh, pretty much we're done with what we need to do here. The next objective right now first is to head through the portal to stop gangling so um if you're just joining us of course um you know you might notice out nothing's out of the blue but if you you know if you were with us from the previous episode you might notice that the portal is gone but don't worry it's just a visual bug it's you know it's nothing game breaking or anything i'm not really sure what's going on here but um just to let you guys know as well if you're playing along if you're you know in case you are playing along and you are feeling a bit concerned um if you ever see the portal is missing the portal is still there it's just that it's a visual bug for some reason it doesn't want to show this happens when you save the game and you load it up at this point so yeah i'm not really sure why but you know just rest the shirt is still there okay so let's go ahead and just head into the uh into the invisible portal that we you know that's supposed to show and i believe it should bring us to the next area it should be somewhere about here Okay, there we go. And as you can see, the portal is there. It's just that it doesn't want to show. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and proceed. Um, we are in some place called the Heart of the Isles. And we have our objective, which is to stop Gangplank. So, I guess this might be another boss fight. I'm not really sure. Uh, let's go ahead and just take a look at this map first. We have the Overlooking Ruination. We have an objective here. A lot of loot on this side. A very straightforward, very linear path here. Let's hope there isn't too many enemies of some sort. I don't think, you know, a, a, a boss fight at this point will do us any favors. Um, considering we might be facing Gangplank. Not really sure. But, um, you know, I'm just taking a hunch. Okay. So, this is some sort of bridge. And, oh, okay. Wait, hold on. Let me head to the overpass. Uh, sorry, not overpass, but the edge over here. And by the looks of it, that thing over there, down there, is the, you know, that scenery where we always see Gangplank Thresh and uh, Viego interacting. So, if I'm not mistaken, that is the Blade of the Ruined King down there. And it's apparently, um, I think that's our new heading. Okay, cool. That's kind of cool. And not sure if you guys can hear this as well, but it's a very nice music um, playing right now. It's the menu music, the menu theme. Um, you know, the main theme of Ruined King. Uh, so, yeah, it's kind of cool. Okay, let's go ahead and just uh, grab the two urns. And we're going to trigger this conversation here. The magic here is poisonous. Makes me want to flee. I feel it too. A great unhealed scar. But you can heal it, yes? We can try. Hmm. A lot of wishful thinking there from Brom, but I, but but allow is right. Some wounds are too some wounds and scars are too hard to heal. So yeah, uh, let's just go ahead and move on. Uh, as you can see here, we have a rest point as well, which is kind of cool. That means we can restock some mana as well as some health. Which I think is another telltale sign that this might be another boss battle. Okay, so let's go ahead and just uh, grab the chest here first. As well as this urn before, you know, we interact with the rest point. And I think that's about it. Okay, let's go ahead and rest up. Hopefully we get some conversations as well. Captain? You're not as discreet as you think. I know about your nightly hunts. Sometimes I struggle to keep my instincts in check. If you fear I'm a danger to the group, I... No, nothing like that. You've managed to balance incredible power with restraint. More than I can say for most. But watching you cut loose, well... I'm just glad you're on our side. It's an honor to fight alongside you all. Until this is over, I will treat your cause and your enemies as my own. That's music to my ears. Pike, I have wondered. What has led you to hunt as you do? I don't speak of the living man I once was. To see the path forward, we must sometimes look back. I don't seek anything. I simply am. Then what's the harm in discussing it? Hmm. I had a talent for butchering jawfish. A dangerous task. One few can survive. But I could. Until my crew cut my line. Left me to die 
in a beast belly. I was spared and given new strength, but at a cost, an obligation to drown my betrayers and their kind in their own blood. Then your vengeance is not indiscriminate. There is no purpose or need to question it. The man you were before, would he have? I'd suggest you ask him, but he's dead. Yes, perhaps he is. Ari, you search for answers. What can you remember of your life before? I have many memories. Many lives within me. My own is the life that I wish to leave furthest behind. There is a haze, but I remember a man I loved. He was a painter. He could find beauty in all things. In me. I see. Yes, we were happy for a time, but then... I can guess. It was a long time ago. I've never forgiven myself, but isolating myself from the world has done nothing to dull the pain. When we hurt the ones we love, even when we have no choice, it can be a difficult thing to outrun. You remind me of him. An artist who paints with a blade. One that makes me laugh. <laughs> I like how the entire story, the entire game, is basically trying to set up a ship between Ari and um, Yasuo here. I know I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna get into the finer details of that. I'm hell, hell, I'm not even gonna go into a debate of whether it's a good ship or what. You know, I'm God knows I'm not that great at that stuff. Um, yeah, but I'm more interested in the backstories of the characters and you know, like the Pike, the Pike conversation there is very cool. Um, for me, you know, for me, I understand why he's, um, you know, about uh, mainly his character and stuff. Um, his story about betrayal, it is a very, very nice story. I suggest, you know, I highly recommend it to you guys watching out there if you're into the lore of the game so far. Definitely go ahead and check out Pike's story on the League of Legends fandom. Um, I think you'll be as, you know, as interested uh, in it as I am. So, um, taking that into consideration, uh, the next battle is most more than probably going to be a boss battle with Gangplank because, you know, there is a rest point here and there are no enemies and I think it's gonna be a boss battle so um, I'm not really sure what we do here I feel like I want to swap the lineup a bit just to be you know just to be in line with the story but at the same time I'm a bit half-hearted because I feel like this lineup is very very good right now Braum is very good first for taking damage Ari is healing and Pike at the same time uh, <coughs> is dealing damage for us however um, I definitely feel like I want to change it up I definitely feel like I want to change up the team a bit so I think just for the sake of variance, I'm not really sure what to do here because, you know, I'm not really sure how the boss battle with Gangplank is going to go. And, you know, I don't know if, you know, we should probably change it right now and kill the momentum. But I feel like I want to swap things up a little bit just to see how it works out. I think what I'd like to do is I'd actually like the bench Braum for this one. I want to bring on Alawi because I think it makes more sense. Alawi and, you know, they're, they're actually, uh, you know, they're actually three members right now of the team that um, in theory are hunting down um, uh, Gangplank per lore. Um, you know, not the actual League of Legends lore, but in this story, I would say. And it makes sense as well because Alawi's um, form of flame is Gangplank. Miss Fortune has a death and, uh, you know, has a score to settle with Gangplank. And Pike's, you know, um, just is essentially killing captains and Gangplank is still a captain. So it makes sense to have Pike face uh, Gangplank for this one. The problem is that, you know, I don't want to give up Ari here because Ari is a very good healer and at the same time I think Alawi, you know, extra heals are of course of course very nice. Braum does not really make sense here in terms of storyline, but he could be good in terms of gameplay and uh, mechanics itself. But I think for the sake of variance, um, I think I'm gonna go with this lineup. Let's go ahead and have um Alawi, Pike, and Do we wanna give up Ari? Do we want to give up Ari? That's my question here. We already have a healer in Ms. Fort in Alawi, which could be, you know, which could which could mean we have some space to give up Ari here. Um, hmm. I'm really on the fence for this one. I am really, really on the fence. Physical defense, magical defense. Okay, I tell you what. 
I'm gonna go ahead and go, you know, what's, you know, because we are playing on a lower difficulty, we are playing on normal, so it's not that difficult. Um, just for the sake of being in line with the story, and I think what makes sense, makes the most sense to me at least, I am gonna take out Ari, I will keep Alawi, Pike, and I will bring in Misfortune, just on the fact that, you know, this lineup makes the most sense to me in terms of storyline-wise. All three uh, have, no, have something to do with Gangplank, and I feel like it makes the most sense. Okay, so let's go ahead and rock with this lineup here. I think we should be fine. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure they are fairly, you know, the champions are fairly leveled up and fairly good, you know, um, for this battle as well. I have, you know, set them up in a way that I think it suits my playstyle, so I'm kind of happy with what I have. Okay, let's go ahead and I think just go ahead and carry on with the game. So we are going to go ahead and loot the rest of this stuff here. We have another manuscript, um, another entry of Dear Callista. For those of you who don't know, Callista is another champion in League of Legends. She is, I believe, a bottom lane champion. And she is also um, Viego's niece, which is, of course, Viego the Ruined King. So yeah, that, uh, she is his, um, his niece here. So uh, very interesting to see if there is any tie-ins for the tie-ins, but I'm not keeping my hopes up. Okay, let's go ahead and just head down to the lower chamber there. Uh, before we go down, I just want to show you where it is. So yeah, the lower chamber is down there. And as you can see, um, that Ruin King blade, the, the blade of the Ruin King is down there. So I suspect that is where we need to go. Let's go ahead and just head down. Thresh has fallen. <laughs> that demon couldn't hold up his end of the bargain. But I don't need him or his secret. My will to rule Bilgewater is greater than any musty romance. Wait! Don't release him! Gangplank, you're a dead man. It looks like my audience has arrived! Your new king is here, Fortune! I've had enough of your schemes, Thresh. It's time to take what I'm owed! Yes. I can feel your desire, your fury. Now, release me! Gangplank, stop! Do you seek to trap me in this bauble? I am no weakened shade. I will be contained no longer. You cannot keep my love from me. My passion will burn this world until she is once again at my side. Serve your king, Ray. Okay, so <laughs> uh, it is indeed a boss battle with Gangplank here. Uh, pretty much expected because it did say we have, you know, uh, confront Gangplank. So you know, I was, I don't, I don't know what I was trying to, you know, not hope for there, but uh, it's okay. Um, we'll deal with it. Um, he looks like a very beefy fellow, by the way. 29,400 health here, so he's gonna take some whittling down. In contrast to ours, of course. Even Pike is, you know, like what? Even our tank, <laughs> we trade 3230. Um, I think this should be, you know, I, you know, I'm not gonna complain too much about the game mechanics, but I feel um, we might be a bit, we might be a bit underpowered here. But um, it's okay. We'll deal with it as we go. Uh, let's just go ahead and see what he does first before we do anything. Uh, Miss Barry applies 8 stacks of Miss Barry to Gangplank. Miss Barry reduces all damage taken by 5% per stack. Fast lane hits to Gangplank, remove a stack. That was what he cast just now, so looks like he has 8 stacks of Miss Barry here. Um, Miss Smash deals more damage to and applies a stack of Miss to Gangplank, which I think is um, kind of scary. Uh, if we go ahead and take a look at Miss Keg, deals more damage to champion, applies 3 stacks of Miss to Gangplank. Um, also deals more damage, also a bit scary. Unleash Mist deals extreme magic damage to each champion and removes all stacks of Mist. Only usable when Mistforged. This is what I'm very, very concerned about. That is because um, extreme magic damage here and I don't think, uh, you know, I think Alawi and, yeah, and Pike should be fine. Um, Misfortune here has, very, has really, really low health, so I'm a bit concerned about that. Um... Hopefully it's okay though. Okay, let's go ahead and see what his other abilities are. Um, Gathering Mist applies a stack of Mist each turn, immune to stuns. Legendary Haze increases haste by 30%. Um, upon reaching 10 stacks, can use Unleash Mist. Okay, cool. Mist Barrier reduces all non-true damage by 5% per stack. Speed lane attacks remove one stack. Okay, so... 
I think we're not gonna go ahead and conserve mana here. Yeah, obviously, we're not gonna conserve mana. This is a boss fight. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to make sure that we play this well. Um, we're gonna start with a shredder here with misfortune, just of the fact that it will do nine that you know nine shots of uh, um, nine shots, and Miss Barrier has eight has eight stacks, and a speed lane and stack uh, attack will remove one stack. So that means um, you know the shredder will essentially uh, remove the mis remove the Miss Barrier. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, with Pike here, um, let's do a bones. Let's do a mark target so that we go after um, Misfortune. That way, we could do a carve and get a you know get some damage off. Watch him fall. Five stacks of Sunder is very very nice. Nine stacks of Dispel as well. Okay, more Sunder and Magic Sunder as well as a mark, which is kind of cool. Can we do lane damage here? Um, it's possibly gonna be too late, right? He might even just cast the what is it the um, The mist barrier thingy. I Think in that sense we should possibly take advantage of that and do a carve straight up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that At the same time we get some debuffs on him which is which is kind of cool Let's go ahead and do a tentacle smash here with Alawi. That's the draw damage Also do a tentacle barrier just to mitigate some of that damage. Away! Okay, he attacks here. So good. Whoa, that is a lot of damage here, um, especially the misfortune. That's what I was, uh, you know, very very concerned about. If we're not careful, she will die. To be fair. Um, I think we have to start trying to be smart here a bit. We might have to start casting some guns blazing, get some stacks of strut, you know, get essentially her evade up and essentially evade some damage. Um, but I think at the same time, I really want to try to get some mass damage off, which is very, really, you know, uh, uh, real bugging me right now, really. Mm, what the hell do we do then? Okay, we'll try this. We will try a power shredder here. Oh, uh... no, no. Let's not try power shredder. I think it's better to heal her up. You know, just 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 to be safe than sorry. I'm I, I don't really trust this to be fair. Um, I'm a bit I'm a bit concerned. Let's go ahead and see. If we can do a. We can't even do one of those, uh, you know, Celestial Health Potions that we have as well, which is a bit unfortunate. We can only restore some minimal amount of health, some marginal amount of health, which of course isn't too great. In that case, we might as well just, you know, let let one let Misfortune die and do a revive. That would be much more worth it economically. Okay, in that sense, let's go ahead and I think do... We'll do another Shredder and we'll do Power. Let's have Pike do a... Bone skill of speed here just to see we can guarantee a crit on Gangplank. Or hell, we can even do a mark target and possibly try to get the ultimate off, which might be much better. Okay, we'll try that. Let's do a mark target with Pike. Um Alawi here, I think she has to heal up uh, heal up misfortune. So I think we're gonna do a Grace of Nagaka Boros on Misfortune. Right, I forgot Alawi can heal. <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay, we'll do a Grace and we'll heal up misfortune. We have Execution, but we do not have the death from below. So we are just gonna have to do it to the depths, I think. Or we can potentially try to farm that second ultimate, which could be much better. Um, I think we'll try to farm that second ultimate. Let's do a Bone Skewer here, I believe. Or we can try possibly a... Plunder Speed, just to make sure that we get the 2135 damage. Um... Do we? No, let's do a bone skewer, get the guaranteed crit on the bleeding target. I think that is a much better move to do. Uh, we'll do it speed as well so that we go as, uh, you know, hopefully before Gangplank's next uh, turn. Can you hear it? Hopefully I played this one correctly. <laughs> I'm a bit concerned, I won't lie. A 
Okay, I think we did play this one correctly, which is kind of cool. Gotcha by the guts. Another miscat here. Way more pike. Oof. Let's be back. Steady. Ouch. Okay, okay. Uh, we have to heal here. We really have to heal. I am gonna do a healing miss, and I think we do speed here. Um... Oh, we do a grace of Nagaka Boros. I think we need to heal. Uh, we definitely need to heal, and I think we need Pike's ultimate. Pike's ultimate here is much, you know, a much better move to go for um, compared to Misfortune. So if Misfortune dies, it will use a revive on her. Um, but I really need to heal Pike so that you know he can do uh, his ultimate because he still has the executioner, I believe, right? Um, just to double check, he should have the executioner. Yeah, he does still have the executioner, which is exceptional since we hate, uh, we have the second ultimate. So we are gonna do a. You won't deny me. Grace of Nagaka Boros, and we're gonna go normal so that we go before Gangplank, and we're gonna heal up Pike. Let's do a Shredder with Misfortune just to get more, you know, debuffs on him. And I think Gangplank does not have Mist Barrier right now, right? He does not have Mist Barrier. But in fear of him casting one, um, I think we're gonna go ahead and do a speed one so that we go before he casts anything. I think that's gonna be important. Um, or we can try to go, you know, try be, try to play it a bit risky and go for a shredder balance. Uh, okay, let's try that. Let's try a balance shredder so that we go, bef we still go before Pike. Or maybe we can go power, and we can do a mart target. Pike will do a sunder, and that would still take more damage for, uh, you know, he, he, Gangplank will still take more damage, which could be good as well. So, okay, I think we'll try that. Let's try that. Let's do a Power Shredder. Please, hopefully, hopefully we played this one right. Please tell me we played this one right. If not, we are gonna die here. <laughs> oh god, what is it casting now? Um, Miss Gorge, I believe, right? This is definitely Miss Gorge. Yeah, this is Miss Gorge. Okay, so... We have to make sure we play this one correctly here. Let's do more target speed. Power. Okay, we get Sunder and Magic Sunder. Oh, we get a bleed. We don't get the Magic Sunder there. Uh, can we try another one, maybe? Mm, no, we let's not do that. Let's go ahead and just straight up do an ultimate here. We'll do it to the. Uh, we'll do it death from below. Because since Pike has Executioner, that would do a uh, massive damage here, I believe. Just to double check. Pike st should still have Executioner, right? He does not have Executioner. Um, okay, in that case, we will do one more. Hopefully, we get an Executioner. Okay, we do get an Executioner, and now we're cooking. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do a Death From Below. Fast. Very, very nice. This is significantly low now, so which is very, very good. Um, good news for us, at least. Bad news for Gangplank. <laughs> okay. I think we should have to win here. Um, I'm a bit confident here, but you know, I'm not gonna take my chances. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I do all out damage as I can. I'm gonna do a harsh lesson speed. I am also gonna do misfortune shredder. And we will go. We will go normal. And Pike does not have an ultimate here, which is a bit scary. Uh maybe we can do another mark target or something. No, no, let's not try to fuck this one up because looks like um, the combo is a bit off right now. Uh, let's do a instant carve then. Hopefully we can get some massive damage off. That way we could chain up with Miss, uh, with uh, Alawi and Misfortune here. Hopefully this is enough. Please be enough. Oof. Very nice. We win. <laughs> 
that was a very very scary battle look at the amount of health there but uh we managed to pull that one um literally you know from the deep <laughs> Okay, 1500 XP, we get an upgrade for Alawi, which is good. We'll check that out later. Let's go ahead and just uh, proceed. We, we got him. We got him. Looks like he's still breathing. Finally, after all this time, it's over. But no. Not here in the mist and the mud where no one knows you're gone. A proper trial and execution. Back in Bilgewater. Sarah. If I put this tyrant to the sword in front of the whole city, the Syndicate will never challenge me again. A just punishment. Now is not the time to plan Gangplank's execution, Sarah. The ruined king has escaped. Thresh said the king would roam across the world, leaving destruction in his wake. The city is in danger. We must leave now. What's this? What's wrong? Through this... this mist, I sensed the Ruin King's memories. I could feel his... his rage, his hurt, his twisted love. He's ashamed of the truth. Isold, his wife. At the end, she was afraid of him. But he won't stop shouting about how much she needs him. It's a lie he's telling to himself. A secret he keeps imprisoned in a forgotten corner of his heart. We don't have time to solve some Misty King's emotional problems. Let's get back to the ship and throw Gangplank into the brig. Everyone aboard? Anyone got eyes on the king? He's hard to miss. There's a huge black cloud on the horizon between us and Bilgewater. If Thresh was right about one thing, it's that time is our biggest enemy now. We must hurry to Bilgewater. Anyone have any bright ideas? Maybe. I could channel the wind, bring it to our aid. As I have before. I could support you. Feed you energy, if, for a time, removing your body's natural limits. It is not something I have done before, but I believe it possible. Sounds crazy. Must be why I like it. Let's get the party started. While you speed us across the sea to our enemy, I shall speak to the foe nearer at hand. <laughs> Good luck with that. Gangplank was spouting all kinds of nonsense when I locked him up. Um, okay guys, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, looks like the game is glitching out a bit. Not really sure what's happened, but uh, it's a very opportune time. 
Um, we're also actually really, really late now into this episode and we're running out of time. So I think we'll like to end the video here and I'll leave you with this snapshot of Alawi glitching out here. And uh, yeah, we're going to end the video here because we are mainly running out of time and then we'll continue with the rest of the cutscene in the next episode. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Ruin King and if you did, consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate your support here, but mainly it's so that you don't miss future episodes or uploads of single player content uh, just like this one here on my channel. So thank you so much for doing so if you've already done it. And with that being said, this is Kevlo signing off. Thank you all so much for watching. Watching. Hopefully I catch you all in the next episode. Goodbye.